Hello and welcome back to Print and Play. Today I'll be showing you how we can connect a 180 degree servo and a photoresistor to a Raspberry Pi Pico and then I'll walk you through the code that will allow the servo to respond to the amount of light you shine at the sensor. For this project you'll need a Raspberry Pi Pico running CircuitPython, a 180 degree servo, a photoresistor, and jumper cables so you can connect them all together. We'll start off by placing our photoresistor onto the board and then we can wire it up as shown in this diagram. On this servo, the red wire is 5 volts, the brown wire is ground, and the orange wire is signal. I'll use some male-to-male -male jumper wires to allow us to connect this to our breadboard. Our servo requires 5 volts, we'll go ahead and connect it to the VSYS line. Next we'll connect our ground to ground. And finally we'll connect our signal to GP15. The signal output of our photoresistor is an analog signal, so we'll go ahead and connect that up to GP26. For power, we'll go ahead and pull that from the 3.3 volts out. And finally, we can connect our ground up to any of the ground pins on the Pico. And with our wiring complete, now we can jump into the code and make it work. For this project, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi Pico running CircuitPython. In addition, you're going to need the Adafruit Motor Library. I've included links to both the CircuitPython distribution for the Pico, as well as the library collection in the description below. So let's take a quick look at the code. So we import some libraries, including making sure to get servo from the Adafruit motor library. And we also need analog in in order to be able to read from that photo sensor. We have our conversion factor, which is 3.3 volts divided by 65,535. And we define a pulse with modulation pin off of GP15. And we have an analog to digital converter pin coming in from GP26. From there, we create a servo object using the pulse with modulation pin. The first thing we do is read in our value from our ADC pin and then multiply it by the conversion factor. Next, we calculate the angle that the servo should be moved to, which is 180 divided by 3.3. This is the 3.3 volts from the ADC and then multiplied by the light value. So basically this value is a percentage of 3.3 volts and we use that to figure out the percentage of 180 that we should move it. We set the servo angle to the angle we calculated and then we sleep by 0.2 seconds and that's it. But how does it respond to the code? Well, if we go ahead and execute it, well, it doesn't move very much off the bat, but if we cover up the photo sensor and cut off some of the light, it cuts over to the left. If I then put some bright light onto it, it goes far over to the right. And you can see how quickly it responds to the changes in light. And that's it. By feeding a servo a value from 1 to 180, it'll move to the appropriate position. And the photoresistor works just like a potentiometer, except for instead of turning down the dial to get less power, you can just shine more light at it and the value goes down. Well, if you enjoyed this first look at how to use a servo with a photoresistor on a Pico, make sure to check out some of my other Pico videos. You'll be sure to find something you enjoy. If you've got an idea for something you'd like to see me cover in a future video, let me know in the comments below. Alright, well that's it for this one, but until next time, stay creative.